Bolt was trailing for almost all of Sunday's race, but with gritted teeth, the two-time Olympic champion clawed back into contention and made his giant stride count to win the 9.79 seconds. That's 0.1 seconds faster than the American veteran. To me, it was very important because I'm, I'm trying to build to my legend status and I need to win uh, all my races in every championship. So for me, it was a big deal and I got it done, so I'm happy with myself. Rising to occasion, as he always does, Bolt recovered well from his poor performance in the semi-final heat, in which he made a slow start. This race, it was, it was sloppy, but that's because it, it's just been a long season. I'm race rusty, so it's just a sloppy race, but the key thing is that I won and that's what I did. In the finals, two lanes to his right, Gatlin was as good as perfect for most of the race, but he was no match for the greatest sprinter in history. This win marks Bolt's third world title in the 100-meter race. At 33, Gatlin had been unbeaten for two years, as Bolt struggled with injury. But on the biggest of occasions, luck was with Bolt again. For the fact that Tyson Gay was between us, um, but I was trying to just keep my momentum going forward, and I leaned too far forward, especially coming to the finish line, caught myself off balance. By the time I looked over, there was him. He was there. So it came out to be a good race. In the dead heat for Ted, Triven Bromel of the United States, and Andre De Grassi of Canada shared bronze in 9.91 seconds. Shane Saroya National, MTV Sports.